Rajasika Prakruti and Sattvika Prakruti. We are a part of nature. And there is Paramatma in us. We do have these three colors. There are two ways to have a pure, bright, light Atman. One is remove Prakruti. Remove the body, mind, intellect, equipment. Remove Ahankara. Remove egoism. Remove that drop of rain. You will find the bright, pure light. The other is one after the other remove the black color, red color, and the white color. If you remove straight away egoism, it is Jnana Yoga. <coughs> if you slowly one after the other remove the color after color after color, it is Jnana Yoga. While we are serving the society, we overcome the attachment to ourselves, the attachment to others, and the attachment to the success one after the other. Finally, we sparkle in the splendorous self charming glow, the bright white light. The other is Ekdam, remove the drop with all sense of discrimination, nothing to do it. Let the raindrop be removed. Then we also be enjoyed. Either we choose the Jnana Yoga or we choose the Karma Yoga. It is up to us. In the Karma Yoga, we overcome step after step. And in Jnana Yoga, straight away with the sword of discrimination, remove the egoism remove that rain drop and we have the colorless bright light. Whether it is Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa or Swami Vivekananda, whether it is Arjun or any other sadhaka, has to follow either of the ways. Strangely, Arjun is the very embodiment of a particular sadhaka who has transcended the qualities one after the other. In the very first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, he is tamasic. He is a man of escapist tendency. He is lethargic. He is filled with inertia, laziness, attachment to himself and to the people, my father. My brothers, my sisters, my cousins, how can I be here? It is the attachment that comes as a hurdle. This uh, ego has formulated the darkness of attachment and therefore he says, Nakam She Vijayam Krishna, I don't want any ego. I don't want any success. I don't want to fight. I don't want the battlefield. No job. No work. I want to sit and relax. Arms crumbling. No yoga. No mangal mandir. No going. That is comfortable. Attached. Comfortable. Cozy. I lie down sleep. 99% of the people are tamasic, 100%. There is no demarcation. Everybody has the tamasic prakriti. Everybody has the rajasic prakriti. Everybody has the sattvic prakriti. It is only a question of degree. It is only a question of proportion. Some have intensity of tamasic prakriti in the net. Some have the intensity of the dynamic nature. Whatever it may be, all the three components are always available. If you take Arjun in the first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, think is his attachment to the people. Therefore, I don't want to go away from my house. I don't want to go away from my bed. I don't want to do any work. Let us. Modern students, most of other parents, 
and we find our children are grandchildren. In the morning, the boy is seated without brushing the teeth. Then man, go to the washroom. Mm, no. <laughs> Dress yourself. No. Go to the class. No. Whatever you say. No. 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 Now sleep well. There is a boy or girl. Most parents face this problem of the children not having any enthusiasm in life. Without any dynamic activity, Arjuna is acting the first Thomas. Pure laziness, escapist tendency. I don't want to go to the school. I don't want to go to the college. I don't want to do anything. I take the food. No, I don't want. Nothing. That is nothingness is the most attractive, clinging to the body, clinging to the passive nature, clinging to the toxic nature, clinging to the inertia. Indians were like that. And Swami Vivekananda, on the 25th, 26th, and 27th of December 1892, went to the southernmost tip of this country, swam at a distance in the sea, went to the top of the single rock, solitary rock, looked at the people in slumber, looked at the Indians in lethargic state, looked at the Indians in a slavish nature, and he shouted at the top of his voice, arise at the stop mark. First thing is, we have to break the walls of Tao's nature. The detachment is to be broken. And that's what Krishna says strangely in the Bhagavad Gita. First chapter, Arjun only spoke, Krishna has not spoken. When you go to a doctor, a doctor does not speak first, it is the patient who describes his ailment. When you go to a counselor, the counselor does not come forward. First, he would like to know what our ailment is, sickness. Similarly, in the Bhagavad Gita, we find Arjun describing his pathetic plight, his difficulty, his ailment, his sickness, his laziness, his lethargy, his escapist tendency. In one single sentence, please leave me Krishna Nakam Shedi, Yam Krishna Nacharajyam Sutanika. I don't want anything. I want to learn. And what is the first word or the first sentence or the first phrase of Sri Krishna in the second chapter? Kshutram Radayadam Valyam Kyeto Tishtapam Karantapa Kutasva Asmanamidam Vishame Sampustitam Anarya Justam Asvadyam Akirti Karamajuna Kshutram Radayadam you look at the grandson, you look at the granddaughter, you look at the children, glued to the TV, clinging to the bed, and we take it, get out. We tolerate for some time. We cannot continue to smell the laziness, and we take cudgels, we take the dip, come on, get out of us, okay? <coughs> Same thing. Vivekananda did. Arise, get up. That's what Krishna said. Shudram, mean, deathiest, lowest. It is an unbecoming of you. Get up, man. Tamasika Prakruti requires to be torn. Laziness is to be shed. It has to be whipped. It has to be deliberately thrown out. And that is the first step to overcome the energy. And Krishna succeeded in making Arjuna take up his body with arrows. Seventeen chapters of the Bhagavad Gita, the first chapter he, chapter he did not speak. Seventeen chapters he analyzed the situation, he whipped Arjuna, he exhorted Arjuna, repeatedly he went on telling the single sentence. The small yogi bhava arjuna, me yogi a yogi, me yogi a yogi, me yogi a yogi. Come on, be a yogi, not an earthy fellow. And a 
At the end of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna asked, You have listened to me? Yes. What is your present state of mind? I am improved. Do you run, want to run away from the battlefield? No. Do you want to cling to the bed? No. What is it you want to do? I shall kill my enemies. I shall go to the school. I shall go to the college. I shall go to Mangal Mandir. I shall overcome sickness. I shall overcome depression. I shall be active. <coughs> from passive nature, toxic nature, we are prompted, provoked to get up, to be wakeful. And Arjun has taken. Sri Krishna asks, now that you have learned what is right, what is wrong, you do whatever you feel like. Do you want to lie in the bed? No. I shall get up on fight. Come on, take Arjun is successful. He has taken the bond arrow. Now he has become active. Long war, 18 days of Mahabharata Yuddha. <coughs> Arjun has fought. Boy has gone to school, college, university, everything. We have come to where your instructor scores one month we do practice. The attachment now is shifted from the people, from the relatives, from the parents to the self. I am a gold medalist. Before that I don't want to gold medal, I don't want to fight, I don't want to read. Seven years or eight years of college life. One month of yoga instructor's course. When you go out, you lift your color. Do you know who I am? I am a student of my IC. I have got a certificate from yoga university. I am a PhD. Do you know that? Now, attachment to the self. Earlier, attachment to the friends, the relatives, bed, etc. Attachment has moved, not killed. It has not been killed, it has not been removed, it is only changing its form from the thickness of inertia to the enthusiasm of a dynamic person. Eighteen days Mahabharata Yuddha over. Arjun is no more lethargic. He is highly enthusiastic, dynamic man of action, man of titles, Arjun Alma. The creative people, Sanjaya, Sakyasachi, MA, MP, PhD, DSC, D leader, etc. All the degrees he has got. Then he has looked at Krishna, looked at Father, looked at Mother. Hey, Appa, you are an illiterate person. I am educated. The same illiterate person only asked him to go to college. Now I look at my father. You are a country man. I am. Yeah, quiet laureate, noble laureate, I am the great person. Arjun looks at Krishna on the 18th day. Hey Krishna, earlier, God, Sayogilashi, Abba, Shishya Stekam Swadimam Kam Prapatam. I am your disciple, that was the word he used. Now, hey Krishna, Krishna was you are my driver. Yes, was. <laughs> then Krishna was asked by Arjun. See, I have killed hundreds and thousands of people. I am the hero of the battlefield. I am having many titles. I would like to look at the battlefield and see how many people have been killed by me. How many degrees have been acquired by me. How many laurels I have been able to get attachment to the senses, attachment to ego. Krishna looked at you. Sir, sir, I will take the chariot. You take the entire battlefield. He was going around. At the end of the battlefield, there was a tall tree. On the top of the tree, there was a man spotted out by Arjun. 
Then so many people are killed. What is this man left me alone? Hey, fellow, come down. The man came down. Who are you? What's your name? What are you doing there? Then the man came, greeted, and he said, Sir, my name is Barbarika. I see. What are you doing there? Sir, I have a camera in my hand, video camera in my hand. I am recording the entire Mahaparata Yuta right from its commencement till its completion. I have been a recording, sir. Who asked you to record? Sir, the gentleman sitting by your side, sir. I am here, sir. I am recording, sir. I have the beautiful video camera. Most of today, it records everything, sir. I have recorded. Then Arjun said, I see, you have recorded it. My face, my eyes, my nose. I was unable to carry a mirror like certain people who have a mirror in the car, sir. While driving in a car, they will keep the mirror in their friend and they will be looking at the face frequently. We look at our face only before coming to the Mangal Mandir past. But there are certain people who will be looking at their beautiful face always. Arjun said, when I was dotting my arrows, that old man Bhishma was brought down. How was my face? How were my eyebrows? How were my reddened eyes? How ferocious I was. Did you recall that? While I was killing the Drona, while I was tearing the tongue of the Karna, how was I? How was I attachment, attachment, attachment? Then the Barbarika said, Sir, it is true I have recorded, sir. What is it you want me to do? Play it, show it. I want to look at myself. When I was killing, we want to take the photograph when we are smiling. <laughs> when we want to take the photograph, we are getting married. You go to anybody's house, they will give the album of marriage. <laughs> no others. Now this Arjun attachment to the self. This man demanded. Barbarika said, Sir, I have recorded, no doubt, sir. Then show it. But you are not there, sir. <laughs> right from first day? Yes, sir. First day onwards, I was recording. Till now? Yes, sir. Then who is there in that? There is only one person, sir. Who is that one person? <laughs> I am not there. You are nobody. You are only a reflection. The reality is he. And without Krishna, the producer, director, actor, there is no drama. Without the sun's light, there is no reflection. There is no rainbow. Without the Paramatma, there is no Jivatma. And that is the source of light. That is the source of divinity. That is the source of grandeur. Now, if you see the life of Arjun, in the first chapter of Tamasika Prakriti, attachment to the cousins and the teachers and the fellow people. But when he was doing with all enthusiasm his work to eliminate the evil, to establish dharma under the guidance of Krishna, he unconsciously developed attachment to himself. That is the fate of most sannyas in this country. Initially they are good when they are being worshipped, when their feet they are being touched, they begin to have a new attachment they put on heads. Whether they are politicians, ministers, or social servants, or NGOs, or the great swamis, like Arjun, they overcome Tamasika Prakriti, no doubt, but during the process of their service, during the process of their growth, activity, enthusiasm, they develop the attachment. 
and that requires to be dropped and that sattvic nature is to be brought and that also is to be eliminated by the grace of God Almighty. The entire Bhagavad Gita we carefully study from the first to the last we find the growth of the individual to shed Tamasik Prakriti, to shed Rajasik Prakriti, to shed Sattvic Prakriti. Lanka is on our body. And it is ruled by three brothers. Thomas Kuprakruti, Kumbhakarna, sleeping and eating. Rajasi Kuprakruti, Yamvar, active, enthusiastic, Ravana. And Sakti Kuprakruti to help Sita Devi to go to Ram. In this Lanka, Prakruti body is that he self, Jiva, and Sita imprisoned. One after the other. First Rama killed Kumbhakarna Tamasik Prakruti. Then he removed Ravana Rajasik Prakruti. And then he helped Vibhishna to bring Sita back to Ram. And after bringing Sita back to Ram, Vibhishna also withdrew. Sattvika Prakruti helps us to overcome, overcome the attachment completely, whether you take mythology, or the modern history, we find the sadhakas, one after the other, overcoming the three, three shades of prakruti, samasik prakruti, rajasik prakruti, and sattvika prakruti, having come to prashanti, having been the students of the Bhagavad Gita every day, having been the practitioners of yoga, let us try to rise to the heights of that yogic absorption in divinity 